Hello and thank you once again for joining me here on the channel. Today I wanted to go over a model I picked up a few months ago, purchased this Westside Model Company Brass Union Pacific 4102 locomotive. This is from trains.com, it's trains with a Z. They sell pre-owned models and all manner of things and all manner of scales, vintage, modern, and I picked this up for just under $300 and it's something I've been wanting for a little while. This is the predecessor to the Union Pacific 9000 class, and uh, let's take a look at what's inside. So we've got some extra parts and pieces. Get those out of the way. Take out the foam, and let's unwrap it. So this comes with a coal tender. This is the cylindrical Vanderbilt tender. The West Side Model Company isn't really well known for their detail, but they are a little bit more robust and they run really well. I found myself interested in this locomotive when I was reading The Union Pacific Type by William Cratville. This book in its two volumes has a lot of information about the Union Pacific three-cylinder power uh, the first volume specifically covers the development of the 4102 as the predecessor to the 4122, and that led me to being really interested in this uh, class, and I wanted an example of it, and they're only available in brass. So I found this one, uh, was a good enough price, and I went ahead and purchased it. I'm not sure if the KDs came standard with this model, but this one has them on both the front and the rear. The smoke box does come off, and you can see the inside there. No headlight jewel, so I believe this model was probably never run, uh, if at all. It's probably just a display piece or an investment piece. It's just a really handsome locomotive. So what I plan to do is run it a little bit, but first I want to disassemble it and take a look at the insides. On most brass models there are three screws, two at the back and one at the front. This is universal for almost all brass models across, uh, across manufacturers, uh, brass steam locomotives at least, this is the case. Once those three screws are removed, the chassis very simply lifts out. You can get a look at what it all looks like underneath. Inside the boiler, you can see the soldering work and the boiler weight inside there. I do plan to eventually get this painted, but that's uh, far off into the future. Looking at the chassis, you can see it's open frame motor. This is original to the model. The U-joint, the coupling between the gearbox and the motor, that is a newer piece of silicone rubber, I believe. The original pieces usually will fail and disintegrate due to the chemicals involved, but this should last forever. My plan is to ultimately re-motor this with a new can motor something a little more efficient and likely more DCC friendly as well. This is the model on a crummy train set controller, my patented crummy train set controller. Uh, I've mostly invested everything into DCC at this point, so I don't really have need for a nice DC controller.
And just so we can see how smoothly it actually runs, I have a very small strip of test track, and there it goes. Very smooth. For the most part, the motor is really quiet too. I'm almost reluctant to change it out, but I really would prefer a more efficient motor if I'm going to run DCC and sound, which this will eventually get. And there you have it. Westside Model Company 4102 three-cylinder locomotive, and you can really tell it shares a family resemblance with the 9000 and the MT-73, or the 7000s. I'm a big fan of these locomotives, and I'm happy to add this one to the collection. And I hope you all enjoyed this brief look at this model. Hopefully you'll see it again in the future, maybe painted and equipped with DCC and sound. But that's uh, another video. Thank you all so much for watching.